issues. I did. I had a lot of issues with that position, but there's, there was nothing I could do about it because what could you do about it? That's just the way it happened. And there were a lot of pros, but during a certain portion of my life, all I saw were the cons. There were no pros to it for me. They were just cons. So as you know, I am the eldest of four girls and the eldest of 20 grandchildren. Yeah. And I was born in the 60s. I grew up mostly in the 70s because I was born towards the end of the 60s. And that was still during the time when children still had a great respect for their elders and their parents. You, you, the way the children disrespect their elders and their parents now, if the parents that we had when I was growing up were the parents of today and the children act towards them now, according to how children are today, there would be a lot of deaths right now. It really would. <laughs> it really, really would. Because growing up during the time that I grew up, you just learned how to deal with it. I did not like being the eldest. I did. I did not like being the eldest. I did not like it until I was a teen. And I had, there was a little bit more flexibility because my responsibilities changed, um, especially when I was old enough to have a permit to go to work. And then that's when I saw it as a pro for me. But before then, it was always a con because I did not see how my skills that I have now, how they were developing during that time. And it made me think earlier today how all of the skills that I have, they were with me even during childhood. They were with me. There were a lot of them that were innate. And then there were a lot that I developed because of circumstance. Um, or because I've seen someone do it a certain way and I was interested in doing it that way. But for the most part, before working age, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I did not like it at all because the amount of responsibility that was placed on me, I feel like it was too much, especially with the amount of of people that were in our family. I felt like it was too much. It was. But I didn't dare say anything because we didn't have those type of parents then. <laughs> you just did not. If they said do such and such and such, you did it. It didn't make a difference if it was too much for you or not. You just did it. And you grinned and you bared it and you just did it. Um, But on the same token, I don't regret any of those experiences. I'm glad that I had the um, privilege of servicing so many people at one time because I see how it, it, it helped shape my organizational skills, how it shaped my leadership ability, how it, how it shaped my, um, my critical thinking because when things happen, if it, there was a crisis and there were no adults around and I'm the eldest and I had all these other youngins under me that I had to care for and make sure nobody was lost, it really helped. It did. It really helped. I can appreciate it now. I can. I can really appreciate it. I have no regrets on how my life turned out, the good, the bad, or the ugly. Because I learned from every bit of it. 
during the time that I was growing up, but me being the eldest, so I had to babysit everybody. Nobody asked me. It's just, you're babysitting. I'm like, okay, yes, ma'am. Um, once in a blue moon, one of my aunts would ask, and my mom was like, you tell them yes. They're going to come and ask you, you tell them yes. And I'm like, but mama, I was going to do such and such. She said, what did I say? I said, yes, ma'am. Um, cause once she said that I was not going to, no, not my mother. <laughs> so, but it, it, it helped me because now I'm at a point where I am very flexible. Every job I've ever had, I was the most flexible person who was willing to do the jobs that nobody else wanted to do. And I didn't do it because I felt like I had to do it or I needed to do it. I did it because I knew I could. That was the difference. And that is why I can appreciate it now. I couldn't appreciate it when I was much younger and had no choice but to do it. But as I reflect, as I'm going back and um, I'm doing a lot of talk about my life, 55 years, it's not just... Um, about all of the birthday moments, because I'm not going to remember them all. I'm not. But just different par parts of my life, like being responsible as an adult while I'm a child. Um, but yeah, I, I, can, I can appreciate it because, like I said, I saw them all as cons until I became older. And my thought process turned them from cons to pros, those same things, those same situations, those same people that I had to care for, the everything, everything about the whole thing. Um, they're all pros. They're all pros. And it has helped me to be able to expand my business so that I can support other people because I have the skills to do that with. And it makes me happy that although I didn't understand it as a child, life knew, God knew, the powers that be knew and set the course for my life to where I would have real life scenarios to help me develop those skills. And I'm happy about it. Thank you.